If you have been watching my content for a while, you know that I'm on the journey to financial independence. And I've been thinking about this subject uh, for the last couple of years. Um, and I wanted to share with you my insight on what is the biggest downside to financial independence and retiring early. And what also is at the same time the biggest challenge with retiring early for most, most people. I found that what people are really looking for and what I was looking for initially when I wanted to become financially independent is a motivation that comes from a place of lack, that comes from a place where you want to avoid something that you are experiencing right now. You want, you, want to, uh, you want to get out of the job that you are hating, that you are not liking at the moment, and you really see financial independence as the solution to this problem. But when you approach and when you become financially independent, the real big problem arises after some time. Im imagine you are financially independent first you enjoy the free time, you do all the stuff that you would like to do, you entertain yourself in various ways. And then comes the point where still all of that doesn't do it for you, doesn't do the trick, so to speak. And you realize that your goal, financial independence and retiring early, isn't what, it, what you thought it would be. And here's the reason why. And that's what you have to clarify first before really going on a journey of for pursuing financial independence for probably 10 years or more. It is purpose. What you're lacking is purpose. And if you don't have one, your goal, your dream of retiring early will not be successful. I guarantee that when you are retiring early and you are in your 30s or 40s, you will want to do something. You want to have some overall meaning to your life. You want to give it a direction. You want to develop yourself in some capacity. And for some people it might work. When they are becoming financially free, maybe they will find areas where they can grow in, where they can really find meaning in, that they don't need to make money with and that they cannot make money with. Some hobbies can be great um, opportunities to experience meaning, to develop yourself, to grow and to learn something new. And that might work, but probably not for many people because usually it doesn't involve really deeply giving something meaningful to other people as well. And when you are lacking this purpose in life, it's really, really crucial to develop it. It's not something that you can find somewhere that is given to you. Really, your purpose is something you create because there is no th such thing as just your purpose out there that you have to find and then that's going to be it, you're going to fulfill it and be happy with it. It's not there, it's something your mind creates. And if people say they have found their purpose, sometimes they mean they have unconsciously created it. That can be possible, you can pick up certain meanings and certain values from your society and see them as fundamental, as really um, as if they are your own, you can adopt them and this is largely an unconscious process which might work for some but usually it's much better to create it consciously. And it, that can be a scary process because when you really consider you want to become financially free, your area of possibilities is so huge, you can do a lot of stuff you don't even have to earn money with it anymore. Then you are left with the question, 
at the start what is purpose what is it actually what does it feel like to have a purpose to be purpose driven what would that feel like and how can i fulfill it and these are questions that are not so easy to answer it's like you have to really become very attuned to your own state of being and what your beingness means over time how it develops how you are how you can consciously direct your life towards what you want to achieve and fulfilling a purpose starts with this question what does a purpose driven life feel like right now what would it be like in your daily experience and if you think back through your life one thing that might help you to answer this question is when were you really excited to get up in the morning because you had something planned and you want to to do that and you are able to capture that feeling to still down that feeling and try to nail it down what it really is like it's not about that particular activity that you were doing back then it's more about what it did to your mind how you approach doing that and all of the um values you attached around that activity if you observe that process that's where you can learn something that way that's where you can learn about what a purpose might be like and then you come to the point where you have to look for some activity that's going to give you that over that bigger arch to your life where you are having that energy where it is giving to you this energy in the morning to get out and do that thing because you have to fulfill it it's like your mission it's like you feel really enthusiastic about it and for most people that will mean you have to restrict whatever you want that thing to be to activities that also will earn an income for you if you are not financially free yet and i recommend you do that when you are at the start of your journey of becoming eventually financially free because then you will also enjoy those 10 years or more and you will do much better work because from that place you are approaching everything of wanting to do your best give it your best effort because it's just what comes natural to you because it's your thing it's your purpose you don't do it half ass you don't do it halfway it's really the best experience to have if you are able to serve others with your purpose and receive something in return uh, an income even a modest income will be enough for you so if you are right now struggling with your job with your work you want to quit you want to do something else you don't know where to start finding this life purpose i want to mention i have slots available again right now in my coaching program if you're interested um, you can go check out the link below this video go to my website and there you find a page that explains the details on my coaching and um, you can do that and we can work one-on-one -on -one with finding out what is your life purpose how to approach finding it how to then fulfill it and grow it into what you want it to be like and feel really compassionate about it passionate and not struggle with wanting to achieve financial independence or some future time where you can get away from what you're doing right now but really be engaged in what you're doing that just on a side note that this is available I wanted to let you know so um, finding life purpose is really 
what will keep most people from permanently retiring early because that's usually lacking. It's easy to track the, the numbers to save some money every month and check your investments and they, you see them grow over time and that's nice but it won't really solve the problem, the fundamental issue for you. It's, a, it's an escape strategy and you cannot escape if you don't solve the underlying issue and the underlying issue here, here is lack of purpose. And that's why many people, if they don't know this, they will struggle with it. And many, I guess, will go back to working. And even though our society and what we have achieved with our technology and production efficiency, it would be possible for many more people to actually not need to work in the jobs they are doing right now and be miserable with it, because we could take those if gains in efficiency and really get us more freedom, more free time. But we don't want to do that if we are lacking purpose. Because then having some job to do is better than having nothing to do and no purpose. That's why most people stay and rather we as a society decided to increase our consumption, to build more, to use this efficiency, not to give us more free time, but to work more, create more, develop more, consume more, and search for happiness in better equipment, better whatever. Improve everything here and there and uh, buy the newest stuff wherever it's available and achievable and um, affordable for us. That's really a strategy that's uh, widely adopted by most people. But you won't have that issue if you create your purpose. Then you can buy whatever you want, but you don't have to stay at a job that you don't like because you know creating you have you know you created your life purpose and you are on your way to fulfilling it. And that's really very beautiful because it gives you so much energy that's incredible. If you haven't experienced this before, it's um, almost magical because you suddenly know that all the work that is required of you and for you to fulfill your purpose it will be a lot of work, but you can do it because you have the energy. And otherwise, if you don't, you will struggle so much. You will, over your working career, you will encounter so many struggles and you will have to work so hard at times. And that when you are not doing that for your purpose, wow, it's hard. You are struggling because it's not coming from you within yourself. You're not creating that energy. You are reliant on some, some other motivation that you usually lack and that's very dif difficult to, to remain passionate over 40, 50 years of working. So that's my perspective, that were my insights on financial independence and retiring early, why most people won't strive for it, won't achieve it in the sense of um, really living a happier life afterwards. It's not in the numbers. I mean, really, I believe everybody can achieve it to retire early, earlier, and become financially free, but that will be a hollow goal for most people. It won't deliver what they were hoping to achieve by that if they don't respect and um, work on what I mentioned just in this video. Thank you and see you soon.